Good day, lowly peasant. I mean, valued customer. I, I want to talk to you today about a growing concern. People speaking their minds and thinking for themselves. No, uh, I mean, dangerous people spreading misinformation and hate. We loyal, soulless pawns here at the Ministry of Truth, I mean, we independent fact checkers on social media know the damage that would be done if commoners like yourself were allowed to hear different opinions and ideas and then decide for yourself what to think. You see, we know that you're so gullible and stupid that even one or two posts from some random person online could easily and instantly transform you into an unstable terrorist. That is why we have been posting warnings like this one. If we think you might have been exposed to any ideas that don't support the political agenda of your overlords. I mean, if you've been exposed to dangerous, extreme ideas. So for your own good, we are working tirelessly to defame, demonize, suppress, and silence anyone with any opinion contrary to what your benevolent overseers want you to think. After all, why should you have to put in all that effort to seek out different ideas, consider different viewpoints, and try to figure out reality for yourself when you could just let a bunch of nameless, faceless automatons uh, decide what information you will be allowed to have access to? On social media, of course you've always been able to block anyone you find offensive or annoying, but we've decided that you deciding who you want to hear from is not good enough and that it would be much better for the ruling class, I mean for the society, if you only hear those viewpoints which we think are good for you. Now, I know that some of you have had trouble understanding exactly what our community guidelines do and do not allow, so let me clear that up. In short, you're not allowed to post anything that either offends any random, fragile, indoctrinated pawn of the state, in this case, your opinions will be labeled as bullying, or anything that expresses an opinion that doesn't serve the interests of the ruling class. In this case, your opinions will be labeled as hate speech. And there's no time limit. Some faceless, nameless drone can decide to be offended by some comment or post you made five years ago and have you silenced for it. And since you don't get to know who reported you anyway, and we don't have to explain ourselves or let you dispute it, we can just pretend that someone was offended and ban you anyway. Don't bother trying to look up the actual rules because we don't really care what they say. Sometimes you'll be banned for completely random, innocuous comments just to remind you how easy it is for us to silence you. Don't expect a rational or coherent policy on this. Just trust us. If we silence you, you must have done something bad. Now, you may wonder how the community comes up with these community guidelines. Or you might think that really they're just the arbitrary and unreviewable whims of a bunch of cowardly, anonymous, thought police control freaks. Well, you can think that, but if you say that, you will be banned for bullying and hate speech. Now, it is true that sometimes even we make a mistake and accidentally vilify, censor, and ban people for saying things that turn out to be completely true. But but that's okay, and we're not going to apologize or even unban those people because what is important is not what is factual and real or even what is debatable. What is important is that you always defer to a centralized information authority that will tell you what to believe and think and say and do. And if what we say today doesn't match what we said yesterday, then I guess reality must have changed. Normal people, even credentialed experts, shouldn't really be allowed to tell you their thoughts if their thoughts conflict 
with the current agenda of those who have lots of money and power. Because obviously, everyone who wields massive power got that position by being extra virtuous, honest, and caring. I mean, who are you going to trust? Various concerned citizens sincerely speaking their minds? Or political parasites who desperately sought out positions of power from which they can dominate, extort, and control you? Obviously, the people who exhibit a never-ending and insatiable lust for wealth and power only want those things so they can serve you. That's why it's good for your rulers to decide what you can see and hear. Too many different opinions will only confuse you, which is why we make sure you'll only ever hear from respected, reliable, and authoritative sources. And of course, we will decide who that is. We can't let you decide who you respect and trust. Trust us. We have your best interests at heart and just want to make sure that you only hear true things. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso, Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the country that is responsible. One-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Now, don't think for a moment that all these talking heads are saying exactly the same thing using the exact same words because there is a centralized, coordinated effort by rich and powerful people to control what you think. No, no, no. They are all saying exactly the same things on a daily basis and all across the country because all of these people are just so educated, informed, and compassionate that they all individually and independently reach the exact same wise and caring conclusions in such a way that they all express them in exactly the same way. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 And anyone who disagrees with what they say, even a little, is obviously just fake news driven by hatred and ignorance. Anyone with a different opinion on anything is clearly anti-science and a racist terrorist. Now, we at the Ministry of Truth are all in favor of diversity, but true diversity is not about different ideas and viewpoints. True diversity is about having lots of people of different colors and genders and shapes and sizes, people who look different from each other, but who all believe and say exactly the same thing. That way, we can be diverse without having anyone actually disagreeing with our benevolent overlords. Being truly woke doesn't mean thinking for yourself and questioning authority. Far from it. Being truly woke means thinking and doing exactly what your wise and loving political masters tell you to think and do, and despising and screaming at anyone who doesn't. That is the best way to show how open-minded, enlightened, and caring you really are. Trying to actually understand concepts and issues for yourself and making sure you understand opposing positions is too difficult and time-consuming. 
Don't even try it. Instead, let us do the thinking for you. That way you can still feel in the know and look down with judgmental contempt on anyone who, for whatever reason, didn't want to just take our word for it on every detail of every issue. Everywhere. Always. This censorship and thought control, I, I mean, this independent fact-checking is all for your benefit, not the benefit of the political and financial elite. I mean, why would they use their vast wealth, power, and influence to try to persuade you to think things and do things which serve their interests instead of yours? What are you, some crazy conspiracy theory kook? One more thing. In spite of us trying to make sure that you only ever hear government-approved ideas, a few contrary opinions might slip through the cracks here and there before we have a chance to ban people, shut down accounts, and erase those opinions from history. Obviously, if you're a good, law-abiding taxpayer and loyal citizen, you wouldn't even want to know what those people have to say. But if for some reason you are tempted to look, well, just keep in mind that if you see one of those unapproved ideas and you decide to share it or like it or agree with it, or even just suggest that people think about it, then, then you, you will be silenced, crushed, and destroyed. You will be guilty of thought crime and our mercenaries and loyal believers will condemn and attack you. Dissent will not be tolerated. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. Just, just believe what we tell you to believe. Don't question authority. Don't question the experts. Don't think for yourself. Only listen to us. We have your best interests at heart. Don't try to understand anything for yourself. Just do as you're told and we'll take care of you and everything will be fine. If, in spite of all the propaganda mind control bullshit going on, you're still capable of thinking for yourself, you should get your hands on what may very well be the most important book in the world right now. The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose. It's available on Amazon. And you can decide what you think of it. Imagine that.